Good day everyone and welcome back to Minecraft mini games. Today we're back on Skyblock. But uh today's is a uh, kind of a special episode because uh this episode was recorded much earlier than now. Uh but due to some technical difficulties the audio uh isn't working. So Lunkin QD and I decided to re-record the audio as a narration rather than uh what we normally have which is live. Um, so me and Lunk and Cutie will kind of narrate this episode and let you know what happened uh, so that you don't have to watch the episode without audio. And uh, we did something special in this episode, so we didn't really want to just skip this episode altogether. So um, right now, uh, we're, uh, I'm just going around showing our progress as we usually do. We, move, we did move the animals to the other side uh, for, because of, uh, well, because they were running out of room. Uh, we also did actually uh, end up killing some of the extra sheep that we had, uh, just because they weren't spawning anymore and because we had passed the world's uh, animal limit. So we killed them, and because of that, we ended up getting extra wool. And we used that wool to make another bed, since Luck and Cutie is also a visitor here, and often we can't skip the night because we don't have two beds. So... Uh, for that reason, we de decided now would be a great time to actually build some how uh, some rooms uh, just so that we could uh, share the we could have our own little room and customize and stuff like that. And that would, we thought that would be a cool episode. So uh, we decided to make it a little challenge rather than just a simple uh, you know just a simple build. And we thought we would record it so that you guys can actually look at it and see whose room was better and uh, you know. Who did it best? So you can see I'm just laying out the platform. You wanted to bring it away from the rest of the stuff just in case mobs spawn, they wouldn't come and like blow up the beds and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little bit further away from the platform. And we wanted to have a view that was facing towards a sunset. Uh, that, that just it beca it's because it looks good. Um, so while this is going on, Lankan Gita, is there anything else you want to say? Probably not gonna finish today. It might though. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this ended up being a longer episode than uh, we expected. So we're not completely done, but we did finish majority of our building. Uh, but you know, some customization stuff will happen probably in future episodes, and we'll show you that that as it goes on. But uh, yeah. So we're still making the platform. This is just. Uh, to make sure there's enough room, we wanted this to be enclosed. Yeah. So there's going to be a wall all around it, uh, just so that mobs can't fall in, because the mob spawner is right above, uh, as you remember. So I think Lunk and Cutie, you started building, right, while I was building the platform? Yeah. Yeah, so she started using, like, the full wood, whereas I tried to use uh, the planks. wood planks, just so I could be more eco economical. Uh, I remember calling her less environmentally friendly than I was because uh, she was using whole wood, whereas I was using the cheaper, more resource-friendly uh, planks. But they're both environmentally friendly, so... Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, they are trees, which is a renewable resource. But then again, <laughs> mine is more nicer, I guess. Making your votes, vote for me, and both are environmentally friendly. So. Uh, okay, so we'll let you guys decide whose was more uh, environmentally friendly and whose was better. So right here in the middle, as you can see, that's the wall that splits the rooms. And then uh, Lankan Cutie is going to be there, mines will be right here. And all the rooms are going to be the same size, so uh, that uh, just so it's fair. Uh, so. All of us had the same amount of space to build with it. So Lankan Cutie is making a larger room than I am, whereas I'm using a six width room to be more environmentally friendly. So you're seeing uh, taxpayer money. So uh, I think the rooms are like maybe seven by six. Something like that. I don't know. I know your room was longer than mine, uh, just because you wanted to. Well, girls Go need more. more room. Yeah, for like nothing. Yeah. Anyway. Just need no space. 
this this should be uh i remember calling this should be more than enough since we don't actually sleep in here like the only reason we will come here is to uh, skip night time and maybe to put some personal stuff inside so like in a chest so there's really no reason to make it a really big like mansion type bedroom it just needs to be big enough for our purpose and of course uh that purpose is just to place a bed which is two blocks in size right so uh, but we do want to make it look good in the time in the space that we have. So something that I wanted to do was to also have maybe a balcony of um, some sort, just because I wanted to uh, enjoy the sunset. And I stole that idea. So yeah, so uh, yeah, so Lankan Cutie decided she wanted to do a balcony too. Miraculously, right after I announced that I w I'm going to be doing a balcony. Copy. Is only embracing your thoughts. That's yeah, sure it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Why not? So, uh, just look at you can so, see the mob spawner up there. That's that's kind of why we needed to build like in, in with some security just in case mobs spawned outside. We didn't want to risk uh, them going into our rooms and blowing things up. Um, well, that's only for creep. <laughs> so. Yeah, as you can see in the background, you could slightly see in my movements there is a nice sunset and we were trying to get that. So another idea I had, which at this point I haven't told Lunk and Cutie was uh, to actually build an upper level. Um, she found out later on, obviously, and then obviously she needed to have an upper level too. And I embrace your idea. <laughs> she calls it embracing, but we all know what it really is. Um... Okay, so here you can see me building kind of a wall on the outside. Again, this is because I wanted to make this an enclosed area to prevent us from uh, getting attacked by mobs. Uh, I am also concerned. I don't remember if I put lights. I probably did because uh, torches are needed in this area. Otherwise, mobs will spawn. Uh, and this wall isn't really going to block any view since, as you can see, it's pretty, there's a massive structure in front of us anyway. It's bland. Yeah, so, okay, and, uh, just died. yeah, so in this, right now, Lunk and Cutie just fell off. That's kind of what we expect, right? So, um, yeah, so, uh, that's pretty much it. Lunk and Cutie fell off. Uh, luckily, uh, her bed was in the chest, so I didn't have to worry about it. But uh, now I had to wait till she comes back and, you know, gets all her resources again. <laughs> Well, I'm known for falling, so... Okay, okay, guys, so after the long and cutie came back with three sources, we finally proceeded again. And, uh... Well, basically, while she was doing that, I was building a staircase up to my second floor, which, even at this point, she still doesn't know about. The plan for my house was basically just make it big... Make it look good, have a balcony by embracing it, and um, obviously using environmentally friendly stuff. Right. So, yeah. Um, so, as you can see, I'm just laying out the upstairs. Um, and... I wanted that to be more spacious because I think I would use this room more for the view rather than just to stay inside. So I thought using that real estate above the room for this would be the better way to go. So I spent most of my time working out about all this stuff rather than focusing on the inside, which I think what, what Lunkin Cutie did. She focused on the inside and her balcony, whereas I wanted the overall experience to be more uh, similar. Well, she focused on uh, she focused on the accents and stuff like that, uh, whereas I I wanted to, I, I I want practicality and functionality more than accents and appearance. Uh, right now, she's commenting about like why my room is dark and dark and uh, you know stuff. She thinks that because 
she takes I'm slow right now because I've been working upstairs while well, she's I with, don't know that you're working upstairs. Yeah, she, she doesn't know. So she thinks uh, I've just been slacking off and not doing anything. She thinks she's asking why I'm not even lighting things up and, you know, and I just told her, oh, I enjoy darkness. That's why I don't have lights. And yeah. you copied me. You embraced me. Okay, but so. I'm going to call it copying. So in this case, she uh, she accused me of stealing the idea of the fence. But as you may remember, I didn't see her using the fence at all. And I was upstairs already putting fence posts around. So I don't know who started, copied who there. It was you. Um. It was obviously you. Yeah. I was using it first. It's just, it's just how it is. So what are you doing right now? Um. I think I might have changed the door. I wanted the door to be here rather than... At the back? At the back, yeah. I think you had the door at the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... nicer, just saying. Just yeah, whereas I wanted to have a window with the sunset in the background. So instead of having a door there, blocking off the window. See, right there. Right there. That's a really big example. That There's a mob right there, and he just jumped off. And... Okay, this is when Lunkin' Cutie finds out at his upstairs. Okay, um, um, yeah, so you saw how the mob fell down, right? That's pretty much why I had this, uh, this kind of structure. Uh, so I looked around, I was looking for the mob at the time, I remember, and, uh, and, uh, he was basically, he, he, uh, jumped but he couldn't make it because of my wall and my protection so uh, right there I, it was a proof of my concept and the idea that my idea actually succeeded uh because if those mobs spawned and they jumped here uh keep in mind like when we designed the mob spawner we weren't really we didn't really care about mobs jumping off the side because they would just fall to their deaths uh now. but now since we're building a structure right close to it it's kind of worrying and see they're like right up there and you know when you get close they get attracted to you so they come towards you so and now now i made it so now lankan like cutie's on the roof she's trying to build stuff and she's me. and now she's claiming that i'm copying her when i've been doing this for, since the beginning of the construction so you could imagine and i just um and uh, i remember calling him cheating because he was me. Yeah, and she's calling oh, me, yeah. saying that I'm cheating and everything like that. Uh, keep in mind that in the end, uh, she actually ends up putting a stair uh, ladder to go up there, whereas I actually built a staircase. So you know who took more plan, plan who planned more things out. Well, uh, I remember I like I walked up those stairs that you put, and I was like, oh, in my head, and then I was like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing a rooftop thing, and then I started and I called you. And I called you a copier. Yeah, she pretty much embracer. calls me a copier for everything. Um, so right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm building a, another barrier just to prevent mobs from jumping onto my rooftop. I hope the mobs jump on you. Um, they might. I don't know. <coughs> so that's why. And I also wanted to make this look good too. Although I don't know if I did that in this episode. Keep in mind, guys, we recorded this a couple months ago. Like, you guys see the, these videos, like, you know, soon, but, like, these were recorded, like, at least four to five months ago. So, uh, it's not, it's still not fresh in our heads, and it's not really, uh, it's not, and the audio didn't work, so we, we don't really, we can't really do much about that. What did you just make that. there? So, I made this design. Uh, I'm not sure like why. Um, I might have changed it later. But they still wouldn't be able to come through this. It's, it's only one block. So it's it's fine. Um, not sure what it was what I was going for, but it's kind of offset because I think we were using six blocks wide, so the, it just didn't the mat didn't work out. That's why. Um, Let's yeah. So right now I have um, two stairs. Lunkin Cutie has this upper thing now. Um, so I think I didn't want to put anything higher. Any any uh, fence like Lunkin Cutie because I want to be able to easily see over but I'm not sure 
Maybe I put one so she can't come over to my side. Didn't you didn't you call a spider jockey a jabberwocky or something? <laughs> oh yeah, I did. I did. Because I was trying to explain to Lunk and Kitty because she didn't see that the mob came over. So I was trying to explain to her what it was and I totally forgot what it's called. She was a jabberwocky. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I think I watched... Uh, what was it? Uh, Gravity Falls. Yeah, I watched Gravity Falls recently and like... At the time, recently, and... I think Jabberwocky was like a word that they used for a monster or something there. So I don't know. From somewhere it's in my head. And yeah. And uh, she's currently criticizing my chairs that I put up there because they're very minimalistic. Yeah, they are. Uh, whereas Lunkin Cutie wants to do big sofas. But like, remember, I'm trying to be very environmentally friendly and all that. Sofas are very environmentally friendly ish, kind of. They're alright, I mean, not the best. So we went around, Lunkin Cutie has doors. I like the door idea, but I feel like I would have done doors. Yeah, it's you not, copycat. I'm not sure if I copied the doors if I had the I door you were idea. minimalistic and environmentally friendly. Uh, so, okay, so I'm assuming I did want doors because I'm making doors. You probably didn't because want I didn't... mobs walking in because you're yeah. a mob. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm severely afraid of mobs coming and blowing up my stuff. And it's not because of, like, irrational fear, because it's happened before. That's why I really hate mobs. So, as you can see, I'm placing the doors. And also, I use pressure plates for common sense, so I can easily exit. But when you're coming in, you have to manually open, which is always the best way to go. And, and you made it look uh, sloppy, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I know I didn't like that design either. It's kind it of weird. Very... It looks kind of weird. You, If you maybe change the other two, yeah, it might have been good. But... So I think I'm contemplating other design improvements. Oh, that's cringeworthy. I know the I'm using a sword. That's looking at it now. It also sucks, but uh, I think my axe ran out, and I just didn't want to bother because we were running no, out of time. I remember you gave it to me because oh, did I? My axe ran out. Oh, okay, so yeah, I don't remember that. But uh, what are you making? So I wanted I to don't make. I remember any of. Yeah, I want to let na let natural light in, so we don't have to use as many torches. And also, the thing is, uh, during daytime, it just looks nicer. So, see? That, that just looks better. Uh, so, I think Lunkin Cutie is doing a sunlight or something. Uh, what do you call it? Skylight? Skylight. Skylight, skylight yeah. Skylight. And, uh, did she? Okay, she calls it a skylight sky roof. My okay, so we're looking at Lunkin Cutie's house now. Uh... And she's kicking me out, so... <laughs> um... Yeah, I was making a skylight, but, um... I didn't think it worked out. Yeah, because I remember yelling at you saying, Hey, then mobs will come inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, because the whole point of these rooms is to find a place where you could sleep where mobs can attack you. Because that actually happened to me a couple times, too. Uh, because it's... We just had we just had it on our second floor. Lunkin' Mon, look who's using full wood now, huh? Okay, yeah, fine. I, I admit it. I've been uh, used to that, and my my design skills are pretty garbage too. But then again, I'm I don't spend a lot of time watching these throne? design things. Yeah, like a throne type sofa uh, thing. I know. Oh, sofas. I know it's pretty. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. I, I, I give in saying that. Yeah, I did use a release. Stop nagging on me. <clears throat> so I just this you. I remember you were building your th throne, and I was like, "Why do you have two seats? You have no friends." And I was like, "Oh." Yeah, but. I can use my seat when I'm here. Yeah, but why do you have two up the stairs? Because I want to change positions, you know? The more the better. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think 
that's a I don't know I think we went past our time too it, it, it ended up being a much bigger project than we anticipated because it we, it, it was initially just going to be a box just imagine a box with like a hole on one side for the door and the hole on the other side for the window that's pretty much what I imagined when we talked about doing this because we were actually going to time who could do it faster but it went from that to something more of like a design project where like you want to see who can do it better yeah. right and who can customize it more i think that's what ended up happening and so it actually went much further than we were thinking 10 15 minute long video and it ended up being like 25 30 minutes to for us to actually end up recording uh which is probably why my audio ended up getting messed up and corrupted and yeah by the end my hand hurt yeah, because we were rushing it too. I think uh, we we because I think at the time in our mindset we were still trying to get it done as fast as possible, but we weren't paying attention to our time, so we we didn't even realize how long it actually took. So long and cutie did this weird looking design with like fences above Stop the doors. Fun of it, me. <laughs> it bugs me because some I feel like somebody could like squeeze through the top and get in. Maybe it's not it's not realistic, but I feel like it could happen. Or at least put like spiders through the door or something. Like that could. Like a baby zombie or something. Yeah, something like that. So. And here you are breaking the wood that you, I thought was bad. Yeah. So, yeah, Lunk and Cutie criticized my design, so I'm like, fine, I'll just keep it like this. Ah, uh, um, my doors. That was close. So I did. What is that? Like a rug or something? Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I don't it know. It was a rug. Yeah. I remember, like, a thing to wipe your feet on. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it was a carpet. What, what, did we even have? Was carpet part of the game at the time? It was, I don't know, right? But we couldn't get it, right? I well, yeah, because you need wool, and we barely had wool to make a bed, right? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So, I, I wanted to make it look like carpet, and that's the ghetto way of doing carpets. And I removed my seat, and Lunkin' Huey sitting in my throne, and yeah, so overall a very productive episode. I really do wish we had the original audio, but uh, I think we tried to summarize as well well as possible. Um, so I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. Uh, you can see this is this is pretty much my end. Uh, so this is what I ended up building. Uh, uh, so this is kind of like a bench area back here too. Uh, with a lot of room to walk around, move around, and maybe I could add stuff in the future. This is going to be like another bar area and like sitting around, hanging out. This is a sleeping area. Uh, with the chest, so I could put any of my personal belongings there. Maybe gold armor or diamond armor. If that's even a thing in this version of Minecraft. It's in uh, the version of Minecraft, maybe not in like. No, no, I mean like game. not. I mean by this version, I mean like end of Skyblock. Yeah. I'm not sure if you could get that unless it's in a chest or something because I, I don't think you could mine, right? Yeah. I, can you find it in Nether? I don't think you can. So and I don't think it's in the end. So maybe like I don't even I don't even think you could get iron. Can you? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not too sure because we haven't gone further into it than what you see now. So. You you'll be you'll be the first to know as soon as we figure it out. But as you can see, this is where it is. Uh, I think I wanted to extend this wall too, though. But um, so you can see those weird glitching through mobs. That's kind of why I put the walls because uh, Who knows? I'm, they could glitch. Too yeah. Much. Well, they might. <laughs> yeah, they they might glitch through and just end up in the bedroom. But I don't think that's gonna They'll happen. Be like hello. Uh, but that's. So, in my so, house, I used a fence. So, this is Lunkin' Cuties. I have pressure plates embracing Lunkin' Mon's idea. I have a single chest that I put my valuables in. My bed right in the middle because I am the best. I am like. Why do you need two doors, though? Center of that the makes kitchen. no sense. Just so that I could go through each thing and. That's just waste. And, um. I don't see why you need the two doors. And I have a crafting table, uh, chests, 
and a balcony. Fence gate, so then I could get into Lincoln. Oh my God! Cause Seriously, he needs friends. You put he a fence gate friends. to get over to my side. Oh yeah, and I have a ladder to get up. She put one, one here, down too. here too. Wow, you put a gate here, like it's. I'm just saying. Oh my God, Lincoln cutie. See how like she always steals my things. She's physically putting gates in so she could get into my house and take my things. Not only my ideas, but my actual I'm physical items. I'm erasing your items and ideas. <laughs> like the whole reason that I put the fences was to keep her out, and then now she comes and just puts doors into the fences, like back doors. Yep. So <laughs> if you're looking at like you know the current issue of back doors, you know how bad it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, so basically the whole point of back doors is to, like, keep people out, so. Um. So, yeah, so, uh, vote for who you like, vote for me, um, yeah. Yeah, so basically just decide which is better. Uh, I mean, there's gonna be, you could look at it in multiple different ways. Who, who used the least amount of resources or, you know, economically used resources. Who's looks better, who, who has more cool features. Uh, whatever it is, let us know in a com in the comments. Leave us a like as usual. Uh, but yeah, so we would like to know. And we let us know if you want us to do more things like this, where we try to challenge each other to do something. Uh, because I personally enjoy doing that a lot. So guys, uh, that's about it. As usual, please don't like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos. And please share this with your friends. Until next time, guys. Peace. Vote for me.